YouTube, what's up family? SGK23 TV Network. Heat for Day Show. Get an unboxing. Heat review, hopefully. I'm looking forward to this. I do have some bad news. I'm not going to open them with these. I do have some bad news. The same packages or the same joints that should be in here one package was stolen from in front of my house so I just want to put that out there um, <clears throat> at my other spot I have a what you might call it I have a camera system set up it doesn't really get all the angles like the floor where like a little package would be but when somebody rings the doorbell it loops and it starts recording and um, I have recorded um, two teenagers a few times, women, females, uh, that would ring the doorbell, knock for about 10 minutes, you know, to see if anybody's home, that old trick, and steal the packages. They would run around my neighborhood like that and do that. <clears throat> I would be out of town and I would come and I would look at the videos and, and see um, that going on. This was at my other place, and um, today the same situation happened. Sometimes packages pile up, not just sneakers, different things. <clears throat> Anyways, bad news, one got taken, etc., uh, etc. Et not a good look, um, but I did call and do what I had to do. Anyway, shout out to all the subscribers, shout out to the family. Don't forget to hit the bell icon right there. That bell icon, you get notified anytime SGK23 drops any content, any of the shows. Make sure to subscribe, but this is the first video you tuned into. This is the Really Sneaker channel that you will tune into ever. That's a fact. News, politics, economics, how to make money, barber lifestyle, boxing, the sweet science show. But we're here for this. So let's get into this unboxing slash review. Like I said, always my, my reviews, my videos, when it comes to sneakers, are very detailed because I do it for the people that mostly are looking to purchase an, a specific pair of shoes or sneakers or boots or whatever the case might be. Uh, so that's why I have special lighting, special lighting, high-end lighting that I, it was the only thing I was able to invest in so far. Uh, we do shoot in 4K. I do the video, videos detailed, so it's like you're here with me, sitting in the same room, looking at the same box, at the same shoes, at the same inside, the same outside. So for the people that might be looking to purchase some, this is most 90% is who I do it for. Uh, they can get a clear review and make a decision if they would like to buy something or not buy something. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I do the detailed, long videos for those people. People that want to really see something, like if they were there, and go through the details from top to bottom, and so out, box, this, that, and the other. Legit checks, of course. And so they can decide, you know what? Yeah, I do want to spend X, Y, and Z on those, or I don't want to ex spend X, Y, and Z on those. Or yeah, I like those, I want to go get those. Or now that I've seen the video, nah, I'm cool. Or now that I have the information on when to get them or when it's a better time in regards to pricing, this, that, and the other, I'll wait. Or I'll pull, the, I'll pull the trigger now. And my reviews are on it. They're never based on my opinion, meaning like what colors I like, what sneaker models I like, what brands I like. I rate my sneaker reviews on a genuine shoe from the manufacturer, how it comes from them in regards to how it's made, the materials, the compositions, things of that nature. And if I've worn them before, I will also include in my rating, 1 through 10, the comfortability, how they wear, how they're good for the sport, this, that, and the other. Alright? So that's for anybody new. So all you guys that already messed with me, sorry about that three and a half minutes. That's for any new subscribers, any new viewers. Peace to the family. Blessings to everyone. Let's get into it. Out. Boom, boom, boom. We got the bread Jordan 8. Okay. Yeah, man, one of these got lost in transit. 
translation we can say. <laughs> Got stolen, in other words. Okay, the box is a little crinkled up. $210 Jordan box for the 30th anniversary situation. I would like if they do switch up the Jordan 30th anniversary. This one we've been seeing for the last three years or two and a half for certain ones to kind of do something different. But that's manufacturing, that's switching millions of boxes. Air Jordan 8 Retro. 10 US 9 UK. Black Jim Red. Black Wolf Ray. AKA the breads. I've been waiting for this. These are one of my favorites. Eights are not one of the underrated sneakers in my Jordan situation. Eights are one of my favorites. One of, I mean, in my top 10. You guys know threes are my favorites out of all. 23. White 23 gold paper. Like we've been seeing and we've been having. Nothing new. From since, since the remaster or 30th anniversary situation. And let's see if these add up to what I thought they would be like. It's not, it's not Yeezy butter in regards to the suede, but it's just original Jordan. Bread for quality is Jordan, is Jordan. There's nothing new, which is dope. It's good. Let me take the other one out so we can really check them out. be probably one of the the best cops from Jordan this year that eight bottom is classic can't beat it if you ask me Let's look at the back we have the wolf gray varsity gym red we have the black Same as on the bottom. We can do that. We can do that. Leather. Air Jordan on the Velcro, Velcro straps. Here's that suede. Here's the infamous sleepy time, just grandmother's 1968 rug. Anybody seen uh, Get On To The Greek? When Puffy's rubbing on on the, <laughs> on when Diddy's rubbing on the, on the carpet wall. He's like, this is what pussy used to feel like in the 70s. This is that material that we've known the ace from 23 strapped up leather suede it's butter but you know once again it's that original Jordan bread suede that you see on your fours certain models classic sticking to the script I like it so far here's the inside do this. Boom. Toe cap. 
There's the tow box. Do this. Well, boom. Let's check them out. For real, for real. Leather on the other side of the straps. Way 23 the whole nine leather they're done well real real talk Dornbecker 8 um, my favorite Dornbecker I think the best Dornbecker so far what do you guys think what's your favorite Dornbecker Mine's are the eights. I know a lot of you, most of you guys are going to say the fives. Mine are the eights. Here is the shoe tree for what it looks like. There is the paper. That grayish carb, uh, newspaper off whitish. Okay. Put that down. Inside, let's look at the tag for you guys. Hold on, we don't have to do that. Here we go. There's the snatch, the ticket. Ten US. The insole's got a red jump, man. You can see it. We don't have the lights on for this one. It's not needed. Wanted to give it to you guys in real time, in other words, in your own home, as if you were looking at it with me. It's detailed. It's thick. The jump man, that is. This is nice. Polyurethane, black, wolf gray, darker gray, midsole, black on the arch, wolf gray, wolf gray, black, red, white jump man on the bottom. I like this cop. I like this cop from Jordan for a few reasons. One of the reasons we're gonna have the threes coming out, the fours, breads coming out. We're gonna have a lot of models that are coming that are the people's favorites, I guess you can say. Um, this for me is one of them. Michael dunked on some fools in these. Plenty of people. Playoff finals. Um, we have, I don't know if you can see it, from the pull tab. I have 1985. No, hold on. This has got to be different. Yeah, I'm sorry. See, this is what I'm talking about. Right, it's 1998. I 
1998 on the pull tab. That was when. Let's see what this one has. Same 1998 on this pull tab as well. Yo, true bread sticking to the script. Or playoff eights. Depends what you want to call them. People call them a lot of things. With each model. They look dope. I like these a lot. Hold on, what Jordan releases did we have that were really dope this year? Once again, it's butter. But I don't want to get anyone confused when I say that in regards to Yeezy type. We're talking about an OG Jordan you know, butter. This feels like a t like 15, 20 years ago. They kind of duplicated that feel, I think. So now I'll hit you guys with the G-rolls and some clean photos. We don't do B-rolls, we do G-rolls. Yo, Jordan 8, the retro, the breads, the playoffs, the gym red, black, wolf, gray, Finals 1998, Championship 1998 if you want to, whatever you want to call them, perforated right there, ankle support, leather, um, back, heel support, ankle, heel, whatever you want to call it, leather, leather, suede, um, mesh on the inner tongue, perforation, perforated, kind of like a nylon, krylon, uh, but super padded, you know, 8-8. Eight, eight. Grandma's rug right here, uh, sock liner, straight black, you know, with the double fitted jump off, 1998 on the pull tongue, butter time inside as well, not cheaply done at all. Hit you guys with the G rolls here in a minute. I'm just gonna take a couple shots at it. I'm looking at them with you guys most of the time, so keep that in mind. So, so far, Jordan this year, outside from exclusive, exclusive, right? PSN-wise, um, pinnacles, things of that nature. I think this is one of the best so far. As far as, quote-unquote, a GR. And $210. So, not cheap. Not cheap at all. extra pair of laces I always say that I know certain shoes don't come with extra pair of laces that's not the dynamic it's not the formula but to me just the extra pair of laces makes that $200 price range more acceptable not everybody wants them not not all Jordans should be like that they should stay classic but it doesn't kill you you don't even have to put them strapped up just throw some red ones or gray ones, you know, red and gray ones in the box there for me. You would make me so much Jordan brand satisfied customer at a $210 price range shipped worth every penny. These shoes are not garbage at all. They're dope. These are classics. And they are butter. And then the G rolls here, you guys will see what the 3M hits like in the areas. The inside, the insole, the 1985, etc., etc. They're bringing it back, man. That butter suede, that original Jordan suede new buck. It's coming back. I'm just that type of guy that <clears throat> extra pair of laces, you make my day. A sticker, you make my day. An OG Jordan retro card, you make my day. It just makes it a lot more better for me. But I'm old school. I'm a collector. In 1998, I got these from the mall. When I was 
what, 17, 18. There's the leather. There's the leather. There's some leather. 1998, I got these when they came out. The OGs. I have the OGs in storage, I believe. Still shrink wrapped and all that. Anyways, that's GK23 TV Network. Here's Truly GK, aka Rico, aka also known as Kanan. Your friend till the end. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned right now for the G Rolls. Comment Bread 8 if you watch the whole video. Peace, family.